Over the years, you've had some really great clients. I can't name them all, but Welch's, Grape, um, Lifestyle Condoms, Soda Stream. You've had almost from the beginning, no? We with Soda Stream for a few years now, and all those. The Welch's is a current client. Lifestyle Condoms is for 12, 13 years a client. L'Oreal. Client. Wendy Williams. For many years, not anymore. You guys have had really big names. Talk to me about the downside of business because we all went through 08, 09, 10. What were some of the struggles you faced? How many and hours? how did you bounce back? How many hours do we have? <laughs> because people only see the good things. They only look at you, you. You have the title. I'm CEO of such and such. This guy must be doing well. They don't see behind the curtain all that it takes to run a business <coughs> and to keep a business afloat. Having a business is like having a child. It is constantly there. It's constantly a responsibility. It's always on you. Um, struggles, there's always struggles. It's terrifying. The first four years in business, I think I worked seven days a week in the office. The first two years, I tell you, I would be in the office at before 7 a.m. I would not get home before 9 p.m. Monday to Friday. Saturdays, I would work 9 to 3. Sometimes I remember I would give myself a light time. I would go to the gym in the morning, and I'd go in from like 1 to 4, 1 to 5 on Sundays. That was my first three years of owning my own business. I went on a three-day honeymoon, no vacations. Literally, the first three years, I worked seven days a week. Literally. That's what it takes Literally. to start the year. That's Literally. what it takes words, to get a business off the ground. Christmas Eve, 4 o'clock is when that Evian call came in. And I always say to myself, if I wasn't in the office that day, Christmas Eve, that guy might not have left a voicemail. Mm -hmm. By the way, he might have been calling 10 PR firms. That guy at Coke who was making the call was probably just calling down the list. And he had a zillion things to do. He's calling, this guy is calling, at, you know, Coke is in Atlanta, so it was probably 2 o'clock for him, 3 o'clock for him. Before he goes home, he might be calling down the list of 10 different PR firms. Had I not answered at 4 or 5 o'clock Christmas Eve, I might not have ever gotten that client. And... Um, I think of that. So, to about sacrifice, many, many, many hours of working hard, constant stress, and st I had no backer, no, you know, nobody, you know, it's constantly terrifying being an entrepreneur. It's constantly terrifying working for yourself. It's constantly a challenge working for yourself. Um, people don't realize the struggle that goes along with it, and it is a constant struggle, and it's it scary. Is. It never and is. And it's scary. And being an entrepreneur, you know, it's like I hate I'll sit on camera. I hate these holidays like President's Day <laughs> and Martin Luther King Day and all these holidays. You know why? Because the mail doesn't come. And guess what does come? Your bills still come. And so Columbus Day and all these other things, I always say as an entrepreneur, and I've gotten better at it through the years, is, you know, all these holidays and strikes and all the rest. You know what the entrepreneur still does? It's like in Goodfellas. Fuck you, pay me. <laughs> right? you, all see, you all see Goodfellas, right? You know when the guy says, fuck you, pay me? Employees are still getting paid. Absolutely. So, you know, tomorrow if there's a snowstorm here, whoever's paying these light bills, they're still paying. So when the mayor goes out and says, well, you should all stay home. You know, my work ethic is like the bodegas in New York City. They work 24 hours 24 a day. 24 hours a day. There's no lock on the door. <laughs> and so that's still my work mentality. That's still my, you know, that's still my DNA in terms of, you know, that's my work ethic. It's like the bodegas in the city, 24 hours a day. I'm a New York City kid, right? These things don't close. And, um, and I think that that's what being an entrepreneur is about it if is. you want to build a successful business. Because you know what? There's no paycheck on the 15th and the 31st for us. You still got to, by the 15th and 31st, you damn well better pay your employees if you want to build a sustainable business. I have never, ever, for years, I've never missed a single, I've never, I'm never late on any bills, ever. Employees have been paid since day one. And, you know, now it's not a big deal. But when I was starting, it was really, really important to me to do that. It was like, you know, you've got to be, you're taking responsibility for people. And I remember when I started to hire people, it was scary. I said, wow, I'm hiring somebody. Like, they were, you know, I remember when my first employee had a kid. I remember it was 2005. I had an employee who had a child. A few years in. I was like, wow, this guy works for me and he has a kid. <laughs> and he's going home to his wife and saying, like, I'm going to pay for our kid from 5W's bills. It was scary. It's very scary. scary. It's it very scary. scary. 
What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.